Hi everyone, Cindy Squirrel here. Well, last night we had the roast chicken, and today in the big stock pot, I threw the whole carcass of the chicken and all the juice in here, let it simmer all morning, and then uh, I just picked off all the meat, quite a bit of meat. I strained all the juice and got any bones, whatever. Put it in here, added a couple carrots. I'm going to throw the chicken in there. And did I show you what's in the oven today? Because mm -mm -mm. I was sitting here thinking, if I got the soup on and the wood stove on, well, the oven's empty. There should be something in that oven. Oh, 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 raspberry pie. What do you think? Sorry, I dropped the crust in it. But look at that raspberry pie for dessert. Now I'm gonna go up and grab some celery. Now my chicken noodle soup recipe is leftover chicken. The juice from the chicken. Uh, sometimes I add a, like a box of the uh, broth. Uh, one or two carrots, onion, and celery is a must. I don't have any celery, so I am going to sacrifice, since it is getting late in the season, I am going to sa sacrifice which one? Pink or white celery? Mm, that one's got a lot of foliage on it. Oh, the whole thing's coming, so I'll just take the whole pot in the house. There we go. <laughs> Two heads of celery. <laughs> but it will look very pretty, and it will add flavor. Even though there's not many, much there, and it's not very big pieces, it will suffice. There you go. Now, when it's, um, look at that little celery floating. <laughs> I'm going to, what time is it here? Usually about the time I put the celery and I put the noodles in. Just um, any kind of egg noodle, broad noodle, or eggless noodle. Just any kind of noodle you like in your chicken noodle. And let that simmer away till the noodles are tender, carrots are tender. And that's supper tonight. Okay, let's see what this pie is doing. It's been in here for a while. Now, if you take your fork, oh, it's flaking a little bit, so, and it looks like it had bubbled. I wasn't in here, I was out helping Bobby, so I wasn't keeping an eye on it. But usually, in a fruit pie, when it's bubbling, when you can see it bubbling, then you know it's it's cooked. And then you just take, um, take your fork and go like that. And if that came out ooey gooey, then you know it's not ready yet. And you see, that's a flake. So it is ready. It's a lot different um, cooking in here in this oven. Even though it said it was 350 degrees to 400 at some times, it took, I'm gonna say two hours to cook, to bake it. Now this is my first pie in the oven. I'm gonna figure this all out, but what a disaster, eh? I've never made a pie look like that in my life. Oh well, first time for everything. Another wonderful meal. Look at all that chicken and carrots. Really can't see those tiny celery though. The noodles. Almost forgot to take a picture of the pie when it was nicely on the plate. Um, I used clear gel uh, for the for a thickener, and I don't think I put enough in it. I'm used to using tapioca, which I know how to use, but I cannot find my tapioca since we've moved. It's hiding somewhere with my baking soda, cornstarch, 
and baking powder. But anywho, the pie was really good. Raspberry pie, all it was was raspberries, butter, just a few dabs of butter, and sugar. And apparently not enough sugar. It was a little tart, but hey, it was still good and a perfect ending to the meal.